Okay, so for Clark Kent and Lois Lane, being a superhero and a successful investigative journalist may come a lot easier than raising two teenage boys. He's 15 years old and home alone with his new girlfriend. It's pretty obvious what he was thinking. What, you mean, no, that, I never would have done that when I was his age. Well then, he clearly takes after his mother. <laughs> you wanna go up and talk to him? No, he's just gonna give you some bogus answer. But by the way, who knows what Jordan's up to right now? Oh, Lois, come on. What? He certainly didn't want to tell us anything this morning. He did tell us. He said he had a surprise for Sarah. Well, if he can get away with that non-answer, then don't be surprised when we're grandparents nine months from now. Wow. Clark, you really don't get it. Wow is right. I'm with us this morning from the hit series Superman and Lois. Please welcome back Tyler Hecklin and Elizabeth Tolock, AKA Superman and Lois Lane. Good Thank you for back. having us back. We had so much fun last year. What, are you kidding me? Thanks for coming back. Usually I'm worried that you guys would be the ones that are like, that crazy person? No, do we have to talk to her? But thank you so much. <laughs> this is exciting. Season it's two. Good. Okay, so from the looks of it, and from what we know already, raising teenage boys is just as difficult, if not more difficult, than saving the world. And I have to say, the Kent family kind of depicts the reality of parenting, because it's tough for anyone, even Superman and Lois Lang. Indeed, indeed. And I think we kind of, uh, we stick with that theme uh, this year. We actually, it's, it's kind of nice. We flip it on its head a little bit, but I think it'll always come back around, um, the focus of that being on the family. But, um, you know, you'll see that now that Lois and Clark have kind of put more of their attention towards the family, uh, things outside the home become then a little bit more difficult to deal with. So um, it's, it's always that balance. We've talked about that from the beginning of working parents and having to kind of live both of these lives and the challenges that come with that. So um, we'll be exploring the other side of that a little bit this season. All right, speaking of family, we've had your TV sons on our show, Alex Goffin, who plays Jordan, and Jordan Elsis, who plays Jonathan. And watching you all as a family makes me realize that the people in the casting department have their own superpowers. Seriously. <laughs> because the way they're the, putting this team together, I don't even believe you're not even a real family. I don't believe it's a TV <laughs> family. I'm just saying. Um, David Rappaport was the casting director. He's incredible. Um, and also, I wanted to give a quick shout out to Karen Garfin, Alex Garfin's mom, who I know is watching right now. Um, she's in New York uh, with Alex. Um, but yeah, no, we got really lucky. Tyler and I, um, we had auditioned with the boys and we did chemistry reads with them. So I think even going into it, the network was really uh, great about making sure that that there was great chemistry among the four of us and the the two of them are just terrific actors Listen, it is just it is just a delight to watch i was telling them earlier that it's like movie magic on a tv show happening like right before our eyes oh hi karen and alex alex call us be on the show after the premiere <laughs> anyway so we know you two are not just here to chat with me and hang out and hear me yap away tomorrow is a big day and judging from the final episode folks we know that Small Will is going to be picking up a lot of pieces and a certain mom is going to have some splaining to do. Because I remember that final episode, mom. <laughs> uh, yeah, that, I mean, that's, that's the main conflict for Lois going forward, at, at least at the beginning of season two, is dealing with all the emotions that, uh, that arise when this daughter that she has no recollection or memory of shows, shows up. Um, in Smallville, um, it's her daughter Natalie with uh, with John Henry, but it was on another Earth. So Lois has heard of this and seen photos, but she doesn't really have any memory of it. And and that's that's a very fraught relationship and storyline for both of them. All right, so because you know the last time you two were together, Tyler was there to save you from spilling any beans. So I was just like, as you're talking, I'm like, is he there going like? Wait, should she say that? Should she not? I'm staring at his face to see if he says anything. Yeah, She's good? You know, it, it, we're good? It, the show is really great if Bitsy and I find a way to get along one day. I mean, that's the, that's the only thing <laughs> for us to figure this out. Uh, right, I've, no. been, I've been having him answer some of the questions this time. If I'm like, I don't know if I should do it. I, I don't know no. if I should open my mouth. You're good. <laughs> All right, can I just say that this whole multiverse situation, especially from this first season, has me wondering if there are any of any other OGs in other worlds. And I thought to myself, if there was an OG in another world, she'd either be a Beyonce impersonator or Brad Pitt's bodyguard. So what version of Tyler or Bitsy will there be if there was one in another world? Oh, but the other version of me would be uh, any, any Bull Durham fans out there. I would have been Crash Davis. I would have been floating around the minor leagues until, uh, until my knees didn't work anymore and they, they sent me home. 
<laughs> uh, what about you, Elizabeth? Oh Lord, I don't know. I should have had. I um, I've had too much coffee and too much sugar. I was telling Tyler I had chocolate chip cookies for breakfast. You so did? Yeah. It's not unusual. It's not unusual. No. <laughs> See who. And then if I, if, listen, if I had chocolate chip cookies for breakfast, I'd be burping all day because I have like a situation. So I should not even, and then I'll burping? look like I'm six. Yeah. And then I'll, and I'll get bloated and stuff. And then I'll look like I'm like something's happening, but there's nothing happening. But that's, you're lucky, <laughs> Betsy. You're a lucky woman. For me, it's more just like I get a sugar high See? and then Tyler has to deal with the fallout. <laughs> He's always there for you to see. I'm trying to make sure she either has caffeine or sugar as late into the day as possible because it only gets more and more exaggerated. It's great. Oh, I have to come visit you guys on set to see all this craziness. I, it's always great and a pleasure to talk to you, too. It's a great way to start up the new year for me. It's a great way to start up the new year for you guys because season two of Superman and Lois premieres tomorrow night at 9 right here on Fix 11. And tell all the cast members, hey, you guys eight. come back anytime. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Good to see you, family members. Bye. Oh, no, I love them so much. They have no idea. They'll be restraining orders, too. They won't go They're going to be like, get her away from me. <laughs> <them." laughs>